big news on Orforglapron, which we've talked about on this channel. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more right now. Eli Lilly gave a really big update at this year's 83rd annual American Diabetes Association Scientific Session. Quick overview, what is Orforglapron? Well, it's an oral GLP-1. And you're thinking, Rebelsis. Yeah, kind of, but kind of not. Rebelsis is semaglutide, Ozempic, Wagovi, but the oral version. And it's a polypeptide. Orforglapron is a non-peptide in cretin. In cretin meaning a medicine that acts upon the incretin hormones in your body. Orforglapron is a GLP-1 medication, but it's not like liraglutide, dulaglutide, semaglutide, all the utides. It is a small molecule medication designed to activate the GLP-1 receptor. So what did we learn? What did we learn today about Orforglapron? Because we learned a lot, and it's super exciting. Orforglapron was given to people versus a placebo in increments of 12 milligram, 24 milligram, 36 milligram, and 45 milligram to the participants of this study. There were 272 people total in this study. So in this randomized double-blind study, phase two clinical trials for Orforglapron, we have 272 people being studied. And of these 272 people, they're given varying doses of orforglopron. So, so there was ranges reported of, of weight loss, obviously, because you have some people who were put on a low dose and some people were put, who were put on the higher dose. The dosages ranged from 12 milligrams to 24 milligrams to 36 milligrams, all the way up to 45 milligrams. In this study, and this is huge this is huge in this study those taking the upper dose of orforglapron after 36 weeks lost an astounding 14.7 percent of their body weight do you know what other medication people lost that amount of weight 14.7 percent after 36 weeks wigovi that means what lily has found here potentially is an oral GLP-1 medication that is as effective for the treatment of weight loss uh, in people with obesity and overweight that's as powerful as semaglutide. That's pretty huge. That's pretty freaking huge. If you found this information helpful, please share it somewhere. But also, I'd like to hear in the comments would you be interested in taking an oral versus a shot? Some people prefer the shot. Some people are freaked out by the shot. I'm curious to know what you think of this.